Hello, this is Bishop Jamaat. Welcome to Nazareth Christian Fellowship. I know that attending a church is your choice. So thank you for attending Nazareth Christian Fellowship. I know that you will be blessed by the Word of God. Sit back, relax, enjoy the worship, but most of all, enjoy the Word of God. If you don't have a church, this church can become your church. Be blessed. It's a great day at Nazareth because you decided to join us today. And here are a few things you need to know. You have to start getting rid of some of the old stuff. Because of the, that old stuff, you're not able, there's not the ability to shine bright as you should. You don't have the ability to shine because you have too much of that old stuff on you. And sometimes you just got to throw it off. You know, there's some people you need to say, bye-bye, see ya, peace. Deuces, got to go, see you later, bye. Do you know why some people don't like you? Because they went through all of the steps and all the requirements, did the right thing, and you showed up with your stink self and walked right into the blessing. And they can't handle that you didn't go through what they went through, yet you got the blessing. Many times I refer to the scriptures as a medicine bottle. How many of us have ever been prescribed antibiotics? Okay, here's a common one. It says you must take this, what, twice a day for 10 days. All right? And the doctor will tell you, even if you're, what, feeling better, finish. If you don't follow the instructions, then the bottle cannot, or the medicine cannot guarantee the results that you're looking for. And so the Bible is the same way. You have to follow the instructions in order to receive, amen, the, the blessings, the, the outpouring, amen, that is promised to you by the Word of God. Today concludes a powerful week of our harvest services as we prepare to hear the voice of our senior pastor, Bishop Roberto Jamat. Harvest 2016, Pursuing Righteousness. This is Pastor Morales. I'm asking you to join the intercessors on Tuesday at 7 p.m. for the Hour of Power of Prayer. Prayer makes a difference in our lives. Join us and see the difference in your life. Join the intercessory team for one hour of prayer Tuesdays at 7 p.m. If you have any prayer requests, please send an email to prayer at ncfellowship.net. Join us on internet radio allnationsradio.net. Our program is called Destined to Be. Saturday, 1 p.m., Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. This fall in Nazareth, we need everyone to fall in. Fall into your place. Fall in to where God has placed you, and come on, let us go from point A to point B as we grow in Christ. I need every member of Nazareth to fall in this fall. Be blessed. I hope to see you in church. Save the date. Join Nazareth Christian Fellowship for our overnight extravaganza to Williamsburg, Virginia, Friday, May 19th, 2017. Tickets are $300, which includes overnight hotel accommodations, Friday dinner, and Saturday all-you-can-eat lunch. Seating is limited, and a $20 deposit is due by October 31st to hold your seat. Please see Pastor Morales, Pastor Taylor, Minister Taylor, or Sister Jerry for more information. The NCF social media department is looking for fun, innovative, and creative members with social media knowledge to become a part of our growing team. That's right, 
we're looking for team members to assist with all Sunday morning Facebook live streaming, daily social media monitoring and postings, along with new ideas to help grow the online presence of NCF. Become a part today. Please see Sister Kai Martin or Elder Nicole Robinson to sign up. Now available, purchase your limited edition NCF mug for the low, low price of only $12. That's right, only $12. Please visit the BRG Ministries product table today. Don't delay, quantities are limited. like every week but would you like to ride the church with me oh come on mrs edwards you'll like my church we have some hot music it may not be what you're bumping at all but it's hot we get down what do you say mrs edwards oh uh, i suppose I've heard it said that 80% of first-time church visitors come because someone personally invited them. All people need to feel loved and wanted, and for some people, it just takes having someone offer to give them a ride to church. We have something great going on at this church. People's lives are being transformed by God's love. Your homework this week is to find at least one person who could use a little more of that love and invite them to come with you next week. Trust me, it's worth the extra effort. Mrs. Edwards, you want to listen to some music on the way? Go ahead, your choice. <sighs> okay, here we are. Meet Bob. Bob's been coming to church for a while now. Amidst the busyness of work and life, he wants to grow closer to the Lord, but he feels like something's missing. He reads his Bible, well, sometimes. He's attending a home group and even listening to podcasts of old sermons. But try as he might, he just feels like something's missing. Then Bob heard a teaching on giving financially. He felt a little convicted, knowing that he and his family were not regularly tithing 10%. But he wondered, does God really command me to give the first 10% to the church? Does the church really even need the money? Or what's in it for me? Why should I give? Bob decided to dig a little deeper and look into it for himself. So he opened his Bible and really didn't know where to look. So he Googled Bible passages about money. He was very surprised to find a large number of verses about tithing and not just in the Old Testament. Jesus himself taught about tithing to the local church. Now Bob was really feeling convicted. He was beginning to see why the tithe was so important. It wasn't about the church needing money or trying to scam him in some way. It was a question of the heart. Bob repented of his disobedience and he started to return the first 10% of his income to God. He was pleasantly surprised to see breakthroughs in many areas of his life. His relationship with his children, his marriage, and even his finances began to improve. Bob thought back to one of the verses that he'd read about the time. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out my blessing upon you. Nazareth has created a convenient way for you to give online. Visit ncfellowship.net and click the Donate Online button for more information. Please follow the directions of our ushers. Remember, there is no eating or drinking in our sanctuary. We ask that all parents please accompany your young children to the restroom and that there is no movement during prayer, ministry, and the sermon. We thank you for your cooperation. We encourage you to share this worship experience with your social media community 
by visiting our homepage and checking in. To do so, please search for us on Facebook at Nazareth Christian Fellowship and be sure to use our special harvest hashtag, hashtag harvest 16, hashtag in pursuit of righteousness, hashtag grow at NCF. Enjoy the rest of the service.